know if that is lightweight and super flowy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to jump right into this unboxing. Girl, they sent a hot comb, but I like this hot comb because it has a cover to it and you can see the temperature right on the front there. So I like that. But anyway, we also received a wig cap, of course, some long lashes and a gift box that has like a little pendant in it so you can put it on your necklace. And then of course this headband. I like to thank Unice for sponsoring today's video. And inside of the Unice box, you get a Unice hairpin. Inside the bag, there's a couple more goodies. So of course you get this wig cap, the one that works really well for the ball cap, and then some more jewelry. And of course, your wig. Okay, so this is a 24 inch brown ombre highlighted U part straight wig. Of course, as you can see, you get your five clip combs around the U part portion, as well as your sliding combs on both sides of the wig where the ear tabs are. And then in the back, you have another sliding comb, your lace, as well as your adjustable straps. And as you can see, I am ready for her. I'm excited for this color. And the density is 150. Moving on to the install, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's very simple to install this U-part wig. You just go ahead and cut the little lace portion that's holding the U-part together and section the portions of hair that you want to leave out. I always end up leaving my sides out, especially this time of year, because if a gust of wind comes, girl, ain't nobody got time for your wig to be showing. So I'm just gonna put the rest of my hair in a very low ponytail per usual and go ahead and clip my U part in. Okay, so right off hand, what stood out to me was the length. It seemed so much longer than 24 inches. You tell me. But anyway, I absolutely love the color. It's very complimentary to my dark skin, as well as the hair is super soft. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of heat on this girl because coming straight out of the package, she has a little bend to her from being in the package, but I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it out a bit. I put my iron on 430. Okay, girl, let, let, me, let me show you something. You see all this space in the back? I am really annoyed by all of this space in the back, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Back to straightening this hair. My hair was straightened two weeks ago. It's extremely dirty and I'm not putting any heat on dirty hair. Not gonna happen. And I've already oiled it twice this week. So if anyone's hair is gonna sizzle, I promise you, honey, it is not gonna be mine. Okay, you know all hair is put to the test once it's wet down. So I went ahead and shampooed, 
condition the hair and let it air dry. The next morning, this is what she was looking like. She was still very, very soft, detangled, lightweight, and I'm loving her. So I'm gonna pop some curls in her and I'll be back. So what I did was I went ahead and washed this hair and I shampooed and deep conditioned my hair so it lays better, it looks better, it blends better, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's get into the pros and the cons of this wig. Let's start with the cons and end on a good note, okay? I have 4C hair and of course this hair is bone straight so the textures don't match all that great but outside of that if you have a looser texture it should match way better once you straighten it. I try to pull it forward to kind of see like how far forward I would have to pull it so it can lay flush in the back. Girl no this made it abs this made it worse look at that. Like I tuck my hair underneath to pull it forward to maybe like pull this out. Like look how much forward it would have to be. It would literally have to sit like near my eyebrow for this to even remotely go flat. Like that's insanity. Like whose head is that big? I don't think anyone's head is that big. Like, come on, you nice. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I literally have to have it like right here for it to fit flush in the back. Like, so my wig will be like right here. No, ma'am. Why? Like, why is it this large? Like, whose head? Like, I could literally put the cap itself in a ponytail. Like, it feels like they used a watermelon and just like put it on the watermelon and constructed it around the watermelon. Right? So it's kind of like on both sides. There's a buckle here and a buckle here. And I have tons of room back here. Like just tons of room. I could fit a fist in there. So that is a con for me because it's very uncomfortable. And on to the pros, girl. Like I absolutely adore this color like this was my jam when I was working in the salon like I wore this color all the time when I was in the salon so the hair did not shed I shampooed and conditioned this hair it did not tangle through that process I didn't have any shedding through that process the hair remained super soft it was soft from the weft to the end I don't feel like I need to cut any of the hair off they did an awesome job with bleaching and toning this hair. Like kudos to them. They did such a great job. Um, Y'all see that? Look how big this cap is. Like it, the, the cap is so big. Like you can see the little nape area past my nape. It's so large. Anyway, when I first took it out of the package, it just smelled like plastic, but it had been wrapped in plastic. But you know how most dyed hair come out and it smells like hair dye or just it has like a funky smell to it this did not have a smell to it at all it was a-okay and especially once i shampooed and conditioned the hair that plastic smell went away right away it does hold a curl but the curl will fall because i curled this hair like curled it curled it and it, it's kind of like falling into a wave which i personally don't mind of course, you'll have to use product or like hairspray for the curl to actually hold. But outside of that, if you have an interest in this wig, I will leave all of the information in the description box down below. And until the next time, you guys, be love. There's issues at hand and we're not discussing. Done saying, we just friends now. Got me feeling pinned down.